Hello, my name is Juan Vasquez. I'm a technical application specialist with DeNovo Software. We often get the question from our customers about whether or not FCS Express will run on a Mac. While FCS Express is a native Windows application, the answer to the question is yes, it can run on a Mac through the use of virtualization software, such as VMware Fusion, Parallels, or even the free copy of Boot Camp that comes with your Mac. This video is going to focus on uh, using a virtual environment to run Windows on a Mac. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you how to use VMware Fusion to do so. Um, I've been a VMware Fusion user now for about eight years, and it's been a, an easy and seamless transition for me coming from a Windows dedicated machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the machine. From my dock, I have an icon for VMware Fusion. And once we get the VMware Fusion running, what I want you to notice is that the virtual environment is just another window that runs alongside your native Mac apps. So for example, if I just show all the windows here that I'm running on my Mac, here I have a window for Microsoft Office for PowerPoint for Mac, and also VMware Fusion. And within the VMware Fusion window, I am running Windows 7, just like I would on a dedicated Windows machine. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you could uh, download the SES Express uh, uh, executable from our website, how to run the installer. We're going to download the configuration file that we need to run SES Express. And then we're just going to go through some basics of the virtualization software and some of the, uh, uh, the settings and features that, that are available to you within the, the virtual environment. Okay, So I'm going to open up my browser. And I've already taken the liberty to download SES Express here. So if you just go to the downloads, you'll see here that it's already downloaded for SES Express 4 Plus. I'm just going to open the downloads folder. And I'm just going to double click this to initiate the installation process just like I would on a Windows machine. I'm going to click Run. And I'm going to verify the process by clicking Yes. And then we're going to navigate through the setup wizard just by clicking Next and accepting the agreement. And then just clicking Next until we get to the Install button. Excellent. So now we're going to click on Finish. I'm just going to minimize these because we don't really need these for the time being. I'm going to go to the Start menu and we're going to locate the new programs that we just installed. It'll be easy because they'll be highlighted for us. So once we run SES Express for the first time after install, we're going to be prompted for a configuration file. The configuration file tells SES Express what type uh, what version of FCS Express you're using, and also what are your licensing options uh, for the version that you've purchased. Okay, So we're going to run the configuration file setup wizard, and what we're going to do is we're going to click Next, and we're going to automatically get this configuration file over the internet by using our DeNovo software account. If you don't have an account, you can select the second option and proceed that way. Also, you may have received your configuration file through the mail, so you could just uh, save that configuration file to your desktop and then choose the third option to uh, to browse and, and navigate to that file. So by selecting the first option I'll click on Next and then I'm going to enter my DeNovo software account information which will be my email and then a password. And then once we're logged into the account I will see a list of all the different products that I've purchased from FCS Express that I have uh, configuration files available for. So I'm going to select FCS Express 4 Plus because that's where we're installing. I'll click Next and then we're finished. So I'll click Finish and the program will automatically launch. I'll create a new user for myself. And click select. Okay, so now we have FCS Express open. We could do whatever we need to do. We would run it like we would on a Windows dedicated machine. And just briefly, I'm just going to show you how we could just open a layout. And this is a feature I'm going to talk about in a little bit uh, about how we can share folders between the, the host operating system and the guest operating system. And I keep all my de novo files on my host system so I can access them in my guest.
Okay, so here's a sample analysis if I need to. I could just use this like I would uh, in any other type of environment. What I'm going to do is I'll just save this as a PowerPoint just to illustrate this. I'm going to save this on my uh, Windows desktop. I'm going to click Save. Save again. And once the PowerPoint's open, it'll automatically open. And you'll see I get a page for every um, iteration that I was analyzing. But also, you'll see there's the file on my desktop. Okay? I'm not going to go into a lot of the features here um, that are available in SES Express. However, you can go to our website, our recorded webinars page, and you could browse the library of all the pre recorded webinars that we've held. Uh, ranging from getting the started uh, introductory webinars that uh, introduce you to SES Express and its features and its functionality, or you can look at some of the more feature-centric webinars that we've held, such as for tokens or batch processing or panels. Okay. But now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take some time and talk about how you can configuration, uh, configure the, the virtual machine to help optimize its performance. Okay. So from the virtual machine menu, I'm going to click on settings. And there are two settings primarily that I want to talk about, specifically the sharing and the processors in memory. By clicking on sharing, this is where we could designate what folders are being shared between the host operating system and the guest operating system. So by what we have selected here or what we have mirrored, if we just open up Windows Explorer, you'll see Windows Explorer will have a short shared folders link and all the folders that we've designated in the settings will be available here. So this is a really good way on how we can share files uh, between the, the host and the guest OS. And the way we could do that is just by clicking on the plus sign and then we can just add various folders that we want to share between the two. Also we have the ability to mirror folders. So by mirroring folders basically what that does it it will mirror something like my desktop on the host OS. So any files that I had on the desktop on my Mac desktop will also be available to me here on the desktop of my Windows operating system. Okay, And if I delete one in one location, it will also delete itself from the other location. So they are mirrored and they copy each other and, and they are linked. The other feature I want to talk about is processors in memory. So what we can do is we can configure our processors in memory uh, to help optimize our experience with the virtual machine. So I am running a, a, a MacBook Pro that has a quad-core processor in it, and we have the ability to designate how many processors do we want the virtual machine to use uh, on our CPU. I can also configure the amount of memory that I have available for this, uh, this virtual machine. I have 16 gigs of total memory, but I'm allocating 4 gigs of memory to this. Okay? Just please note that while you can change these, you can only change these when you've shut down the virtual machine. So from the virtual machine menu, you can just click on shut down. And once it's shut down, then you can change these and, and uh, put these at figures that, that suit your needs. Okay? Also, if you go to our website, you go to our system requirements page. You can find more information about the specs that are needed to run SES Express in Windows. Um, as far as processor, there really is no minimum processor requirement. However, if the, the faster the processor, the, the faster the program will run. Um, also, since SES Express is multi-threaded, if you do have uh, a processor that has multiple cores on it, uh, that will enhance the experience and the speed. Um, uh, with the uh, with the application within Windows. Also, SES Express requires very little memory. However, the amount of memory that SES Express uses will depend on the environment in which it's installed. SES Express is a 32-bit uh, program, so if it's installed in a 32-bit Windows environment, it will use up to 3 gigs of memory. If it's installed in a 64-gig uh, Windows environment, it will use up to 4 gigs of memory. Okay. Also, one last thing I want to show you is the ability to um, basically give you different ways of how this virtual machine looks. So right now we're using a single window where it's basically um, Windows is just running in a separate window right alongside your other native Mac apps. However, you do have the ability to use other types of views, such as full screen. So if you click on full screen, it will just give you a, a, a single screen of Windows. Or we could run something called Unity. 
And what Unity is, it's a, it's a way to integrate the two OS's together. So for example, if I have any Windows applications that are open here, once I click on Unity, what you'll see down here is um, VMware Fusion will automatically add those applications, those open applications here to my Mac dock. Okay? And also, anything that I have open in my system tray in Windows will automatically be, be added up here. So we can either just click on something and we can also close it. All right. So we have the ability to access programs either in the host OS or the guest OS. Okay. So that just about wraps it up. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at denovosoftware.com or you can find a lot of information on our website at www.denovosoftware.com. If you have any questions, just let us know. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a good day.